This old bridge at Baiting's Reservoir in West Yorkshire has become a popular tourist spot in recent weeks. The drought has reduced the River Ryburn to little more than a trickle. Water levels are now at an all-time low, revealing this old crossing lost beneath the water when the reservoir was built in the 1950s. I'm really shocked. I mean, obviously, I've, co I've come today, if I'm honest, because I've seen this on the television, but nothing prepared me for what it's really like once you get here. So it's not just seeing the bridge, it's seeing it's such a tiny trickle of a stream behind it. And it uh, really brings home just how much this is a drought that we're in the midst of uh, and how careful we've got to be with our water. Local legend has it that this was a medieval pack horse bridge dating back to when goods were transported on horseback. But the drought has revealed its more recent origins. It is very interesting for a local historian because for the first time in quite a long time we can actually see the foundations of the bridge and the structure of it that hasn't been revealed for quite a number of years. For example, you can tell very distinctly that it is a 19th century industrial build. During a previous dry spell, there was a more gruesome discovery, the possible victim of a gangland killing. Yes, in 1989, they found the body of a 23-year-old man. He'd been shot in the head, his body had been weighed down by a pickaxe, and sadly, the case has never been solved. Many other depleted reservoirs across the country are also giving up their secrets. These long-lost structures provide a rare opportunity for history enthusiasts, but the drought has also exposed the water companies to accusations that they haven't invested enough to modernise the system. The last reservoir in Britain was built more than 30 years ago, while water leaks and sewage discharges remain a major problem. This reservoir, in the rolling hills of West Yorkshire, is normally considered one of the wettest parts of the country. Last week, Britain's Environment Agency declared that Yorkshire, along with several other regions, was now officially suffering a drought. This gave Yorkshire Water the power to reduce consumption by banning the use of hose pipes to water gardens or wash cars. But here, at least, the drought has provided a rare opportunity to connect with the past.